In the upper division of the Moore School, we do a lot of group work and collaborating with our peers. We don't have a textbook. We don't sit in front of a lecture every day. We work in class for real life applications. You know, we need to present pretty much at least once or twice a semester in every class. So with the new space, it's much more conducive to group learning, to pre presenting in front of a class. Um, like, you know, we can move the tables, we can move the chairs, we can write on the whiteboard, we can talk, we can, you know, do all those things, whereas that is not possible in the other building. Uh, and it really will change, I think, the way we teach, as well as the way the students receive the information. You know, maybe, maybe someone's more of a visual learner than they would be an, an audio learner. And so to mix up the teaching style in, in the classroom really is going to, I think, going to touch also on many different types of students, more so, say, than just if I were to stand there and give a traditional you know, talk, which may or may not necessarily be delivered in the same manner or received, I should say, uh, to all the students in the classroom. We're really proud of the fact that the building's tracking for LEED Platinum. It's a very green facility for the university. We've got occupancy sensors and daylighting sensors throughout the building. It helps control the lighting and minimizes the energy use to areas where folks are actually occupying the space, so we're not lighting and heating and cooling spaces that are not occupied. In addition to that, we've got a number of green roofs throughout the facility. And all of our green roofs are actually irrigated with water that we capture through a 20,000 gallon tank that is used to then irrigate all of our green roofs and plants. It's a 45 percent reduction in water usage. We're actually capturing water runoff and then reusing that water runoff for not only irrigation purposes but also in the southwest corner of the facility. We actually use it for some of the plumbing functions as well. Green roofs enable us to actually reduce water usage by about 40 percent.